So I don't know about you guys, but I love the medic class in Battlefield 1, and I think probably most of you guys do too, or at least a lot of you, but man, we are going to make an OP medic class today for this episode in Battlefield 1, man. We are going to make something that is so powerful, something that is so, like, efficient on the battlefield that will help you guys beast on the battlefield, and man, I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible, try to make it a quick video so that you guys don't have to spend a lot of time on here and you guys can get right into beasting on the battlefield. So... With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the primary, I want you guys to run the self-loader M1916 optical, man. And I want you guys to run this one because the damage, it's pretty decent, all right? Like, it's not the best, but it is decent. And the accuracy is pretty good, especially with that optical, you know, that optical variant, that sight that you get, that's going to help you out a lot on the accuracy. And then there's plenty of room for missed shots. Like, because of that mag massive magazine, I do recommend this weapon above all others in Battlefield 1 when it comes to the medic class. Now, I thought about the level 10 weapon for the medic class, man, and it's not that good, dude. It's not that good. I mean, like, it has only five bullets in the in the chamber, in the chamber, in the magazine, man. Only five bullets in the magazine. And, and like, it takes, like, three bullets to kill somebody. So you'll never be able to kill two people in one magazine, provided that they both have full health. Like, what? No, 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 no. That is not a good thing, man. I do not like that gun. So I do recommend the self-loader optical variant with the the M1916, that's the optical variant that you want. And for your secondary, man, you want the number three revolver. Now, I did pick the number three revolver because you, what you need is power up close, man. That is what you need because, see, the primary, the self-loader M1916 optical, that's going to help you at medium ranges and maybe even long ranges if you're pretty accurate and you're, you know, you're good and everything like that. But definitely, it'll help you in mid-range. So what you need is something that's going to help you at short range for those short range engagements that you'll never expect that will happen so I did pick the number three revolver it is a revolver and it does have some high damage so I definitely recommend that one and for the magnification bro just go ahead and apply the 1.25 times that 1.25 X you go ahead and apply that one that one is usually good enough especially for you know short ranges you, the whole point is to use this gun at short ranges you know that's the whole point so you don't need this you know really big mag magnification so that you can actually see from further away no 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 that's not the kind of engagements that you're going to be using this kind of gun with so with that being said man let's go ahead and move on to the gadgets for your gadget one you want the medical crate and because why not right <laughs> right every medic should have this every medic every good medic should have a medical crate that's just the way it is so go ahead and apply that medical crate for your gadget too you want the medical syringe also because why not right because every medic should have a medical syringe as well what kind of medic would you be without the ability to, to you know to provide people you gotta have that medical syringe and that medical crate those are your gadgets now your grenade you want the incendiary grenade and I almost told you guys to pack maybe the gas grenade or the impact grenade but I actually tested both of these out on the battlefield for you guys before making this video and I found that the one that was most useful is the incendiary grenade because depending on how you're playing medic you can actually use those incendiary grenades to trap people inside buildings and make them burn to death basically getting you easy and free kills pretty much so I definitely recommend that with the gas grenade I tried it with the gas grenade but they always just put on their gas mask and it really never really helped I only got a few damage points in so I do recommend the incendiary man and for your melee, just whatever you want, dude. Like, just pick something that is good. Like, it's got a good balance of damage and of range. I definitely recommend that you look at those, the damage and range, because every single melee weapon has its own statistics. And, you know, when it comes to balance, when it comes to uh, just the balance in general, like I said, like damage and range and stuff like that. So, I always just pick either one of the five melee weapons that I've built from the battle packs, or maybe just like one of the stronger weapons that I see right there. But I usually am equipping something off the battle pack. So, I definitely you know recommend that you look at those stats and stuff like that and get your favorite melee weapon i don't have one for you guys that's because it's not that important you need to pick one so with that being said man we just finished the class now let's go ahead and talk about how you can beast with it i have one thing that i want to tell you guys right now before you guys go it's going to help you guys out a lot on the battlefield, and it's basically just to stay away from the vehicles, man. The vehicles, you are not prepared to be, like, attacking vehicles. You are not prepared whatsoever. That is not your role on the battlefield. Stay away from enemy vehicles. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more daily Battlefield 1 tips like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.